You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. LSU over the weekend got a few more draft declarations. Uh, certainly Cade York's announcement I don't think qualifies as a surprise. But uh, on Saturday, Cade York did make it official, posted a message on all of his social media thanking LSU fans and declaring for the NFL draft, which, uh, again, shouldn't come as a great surprise. Every draft analyst has Cade York rated as the best kicker in this draft. He is likely going to get drafted, which is atypical for kickers. But when you're the kind of kicker that Cade York is, naturally you're going to have that opportunity. Um, you know, I I know I've referenced this so many times over the past two years, but I'm going to do it again. It's just very fitting now. There will be more opportunities too as well. But uh, in 2019, which was Cade York's freshman season, when he was replacing Cole Tracy. Um, he didn't have a flawless go of it. He missed a couple of PATs early, missed some field goals early, missed a field goal against Florida, missed a field goal against Utah State that year. He actually missed six field goals and four PATs in 2019. It, it wasn't always great early on for Cade York. And Cole Tracy was in Baton Rouge, I believe for the Auburn game that year, and he sat in this studio right here, right next to me, sat right here. And Cade York, excuse me, Cole Tracy said of Cade York this. Oh, you don't have it. Cole Tracy said Cade York is going to, he said, don't worry about it. He's going to be the best kicker in LSU history. Um, and true to form, he's the best kicker in LSU history. He got robbed of All-America honors, in part because he just didn't have enough attempts with some bad offenses uh, this year. But field goals of 56, 55, 55, 54, 51, 50, 49, and 48 this season. Basically, if LSU got inside the 40, they were going to score points. Um, amazing consistency. And he did a, a Velveeta NIL campaign. So congrats to Cade York on a great career, and good luck to him in the NFL and what's next. He, you know, A lot of people ask at times, you know, why Cole Tracy never got a shot in the NFL. He was so accurate, which is true. But in the NFL, you have to be able to bomb kicks from 50-plus. And that was Cole Tracy's, um, that was his weakness. He didn't have the big strong leg. Cade York has the accuracy and the big leg, and he's going to kick in the NFL for a very long time. So congrats to him now. What's next for LSU is is interesting. Because look, LSU's had an amazing run of great place kickers. I mean, you can go all the way back to John Corbello. And you could look at Colt David and Drew Alamon and Josh Jasper and Colby De La Husse, And they've just just churned them out one after another after another. And then they hit that, that bump in the road in 2017 where they just couldn't find any consistency. And then Greg McMahon went out and he found Colt Tracy and added Cade York, and they are right back on track with the two greatest kickers I think LSU's probably ever had with those two guys back-to-back. -back. I'll say it again. I think Ed Ogeron's be the best hire Ed Ogeron made was Greg McMahon. I mean, Greg McMahon from, you know, with Von Rosenberg converting to punter and then becoming an all-conference caliber punter, finding Cole Tracy and Cade York, finding Avery Atkins. Think about it. Greg McMahon was incredible as the special teams coordinator at LSU. Those are massive shoes to fill now for Brian Polian. Uh, interestingly enough, Brian Polian did post a picture today uh, on, on his Twitter of he and his son. Uh, he's in LSU gear, and he's in, <laughs> he is in uh, about ankles deep of snow. And he said, uh, the boys are headed to, to the boot. Uh, Baton Rouge, here we come. Hashtag road trip. So... Uh, Brian Polian is now officially on his way to Baton Rouge and uh, escaping the snowy Midwest. Congrats on that, Brian. Uh, I was outside grilling last night in shorts and flip-flops <laughs> in early January. A little chilly this morning, but um, it's going to be a huge responsibility for Brian Polian is...
finding the guy that's going to replace Cade York. Now, I know they got Nathan uh, Debert as a part of this signing class. Is that responsibility too much for a true freshman coming in to take on those duties? We'll see. And if it is, then you hit the portal. You try to find somebody the same way McMahon went and found Cole Tracy from Assumption College. But that's going to be a major, major gaping hole in one phase for this team. Because, man, you got to the 40, you had points. It, it just changed strategically what you did strategically in a ball game. And uh, and now with Cade York gone, you're going to have to find a, a new way to replace that. So congrats to Cade York. Here's looking at you, Brian Poley, and big task. Try to fi you know, fill those shoes left by, uh, by Cade York. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.